Hello dear friends, very warm welcome to all of you at our conceptual brainstorm integrated session of anatomy. So here we are doing the session to crack the INICT. As I say that INICT is very difficult, but I will tell you that we are doing analysis, we are doing the sets of the questions. So the questions, especially in 2016, 17, 18, 19, came, that same questions are getting repeated in this 2021-22 session. So myself, Dr. Shrikant Orma, very warm welcome to all of you at this Dhink Chika Anatomy. Yes, with the anatomy, with the motivation, with the anatomy. It's difficult. मुश्किलें इंसान का हौसला आजमाती है सपनों का पर्दा निगाहों से हटाती है गिर गया गिर गया गिरकर संभल ए आदमी ठोकरे इंसान को चलना सिखाती हैं चलना सिखाती है सो होप यू ऑल आर रेडी यस सो हियर डॉक्टर नागर हेलो बेटा हेलो सो कमेंट बॉक्स इज आल्सो ओपन एनी काइंड ऑफ डाउट यू कैन आस्क हियर डायरेक्टली एट द कमेंट बॉक्स सो विदाउट एनी डिले कम हियर एट दिस अवर सेशन ऑफ द हेड ने किस वी आर डूइंग द लाइव face to face session hybrid session few students are sitting in front few students are joining at the online platform and few students who want they can get the recorded videos also okay so in this hybrid session we are doing the entire four days anatomy in one day so remember it is rapid revision session so you have to concentrate aapko concentrate karna hai and this file annotated file will be shared in our telegram channel dr shrikant orma classes so can you see this is our yes cheating and chanting session we are going to cheat we are going to talk we are going to comment okay we are going to do the analysis which topic is going to ask in your next INICT very high yielding topics so can you tell me which is not a branch of the facial artery in the face so I already told you with the proper three-dimensional orientation external carotid artery it is having the eight branches okay in which first is medial branch ascending pharyngeal artery this is the update from the grace anatomy 42nd edition 41st edition it was saying that the first branch is superior thyroid artery no our ENT textbook our Cunningham textbook they all are saying the 42nd edition is saying the first branch the smallest branch and the medial branch is ascending pharyngeal artery and then you can remember the three entry branch one is going towards the thyroid gland then next is going to the tongue and next is going to the face so you have to keep the finger in this way yes you can go at our YouTube channel with the proper three-dimensional anatomy we had seen can you see this one yes beautiful just think like the Tony Stark just think like the Iron Man. Can you see? This is our, yes, common carotid artery. Now, there is our external carotid artery and here is the internal carotid artery. So, in this internal carotid artery, we will see in our circle of this part. Later, we will discuss. But right now, yes, sir, this is our external carotid artery which is giving the branch towards our thyroid gland. Thyroid, very important topic. One question definitely it is asked. Can you see? This another one. It is going towards the tongue, lingual artery. And then you can see there is our artery, facial artery. This facial artery is arising near the hyoid bone. Then it is making the zigzag course along the lower border of the mandible. So this is the MCQ. It is palpable. It is palpable along the lower border of the mandible. Where just in front of the strongest muscle of the body, masseter. Then it is making the zigzag course, tortuous course. Yes, sir. Can you see? First, our niche wala hot aata, so it is giving the inferior labial artery. Then there is the upper lip, so it is giving the superior labial artery. Then it will give the lateral nasal artery. Then it is reaching towards the our angle of the eye, so angular artery. Simple. They are the many posterior unnamed branch which will supply the muscles of the face, the main artery of the face. Facial artery, the anesthetist artery, MCQ. Answer is our yes, facial artery. Yes, yes, doctor. Hello, beta. So, hope you all are getting the point. This is the quick session, rapid revision session, especially for the INICT. Okay. So, can you tell me now what is the answer? Comment, comment. 
What is the answer which is not a branch of the facial artery in the face? Lateral nasal, mental, superior labial, inferior labial. So I need comment which is your answer. I told you facial artery is coming. It is giving the branch. Inferior labial, then superior level, then lateral nasal and then angular artery. Jo jo area aega, usko usko branch dega. Jo facial artery aari, sir, pahle niche wala hot aaya, inferior labial. Sir, phir upar wala hot aaya, superior labial. Phir lateral part of the nose aaya, lateral nasal. Phir angle of the eye mein gaya, angular artery. So, these are our different branches. Okay. So, which is not the artery? Yes, your answer is here. Yes. Mental artery. Mental artery is not the branch from the facial artery, but actually the inferior alveolar artery, which is the branch from the maxillary artery, third part. It comes and then it emerges outside. Okay, sir. So it is the rapid region session. So we are not wasting too much time. Coming to the next question, which of the following structure passing via jugular foramen has a separate canal? I will teach you. Yes, the jugular foramen, the second largest foramen of the skull. First largest foramen is the word, yes, foramen magna. This jugular foramen is having the three part. Yes, anterior part, middle part, posterior part. Remember, I will teach you in entry part, I, in posterior part, I, and in the middle part, there is the pathway for the our 9, 10, 11 cranial nerve. So what I want to tell you, this is the image of the jugular foramen. How many parts of the jugular foramen? Sir, three parts. Yes, anterior, middle and posterior. One funny mnemonic, a kavita, a gaane ki tarah isko yaad karte hai. Yes, yes, try to understand this entry one is I, this posterior one is I and in between them, there is our 9, 10, 11 cranial nerve. So, kaise yaad rakhna hai? Jugular foramen, what are the structure? Aage I, piche I, beech mein 9, 10, 11. Yes, our one poem like structure. This is the INICT 2022 question. Yes, what are the structures passing through the jugular foramen? Anterior eye, posterior eye. In between, there is a 9, 10, 11 cranial nerve. Yes, entry eye is the inferior petrosal sinus. Posterior eye is the internal jugular vein. Also, you can remember the sigmoid sinus. And in between, there is a 9, 10, 11 cranial nerve. Remember, in this all, the ninth cranial nerve is having one separate dura matter covering so one image for all of you so you can remember this structure the ninth cranial nerve is separately covered with the dural sheath so remember answer is b agree everybody yes 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 same same uh, dr dinesh yes osama very warm welcome so now now we are going to look for the next question yes can you see which skull foramen? Definitely in your INICET next exam. One cranial cavity will be asked. Any foramen will be asked. So we are going to discuss in our class right now. Yes, which skull foramen is formed by the three bones? So I am showing you the three dimensional anatomy. See here. Can you observe? This is our skull bone. Okay. So this is our norma bacillus part. Fine. So there are the different Colors are visible. Just tell me which foramen is having the three color junction. Yes, I will teach you. You can go at our previous video, but right now, quickly, I am telling you this is our cranial cavity. Yes, sir. Here is anterior cranial fossa. This is middle cranial fossa. And this is the posterior cranial fossa. I am turning. And I told you one funny way to remember this different foramen. Yes, Raja jo hai, wo beach mein hota hai. Yes, sir. At the center, there is a king. Who is the king? Pituitary gland is king. Raja ke dono taraf kaun hoti hai? Rania. Yes, queens are shy in nature. So these are shy in nature. They are taking shy. They are foramen. Le sharam. Le sharam. Getting the point? Yes, they are shy in nature. Kaise yaad rakhna hai? Raja. Who is the king? Pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is sitting over the horse. Ek saddle mein betha hua hai. Yes, this is the question from the M's. Then repeated in the different exam. Turkish shadow, which structure is located in the Turkish shadow? Pituitary gland. Yes, king is sitting over the saddle. Ye Turkish shadow kuch nahi hai. Sela, Tarshika. Sela means saddle and Tarshika means Turkish. Question wahi purana hai, but they are asking in the new way. So this is our Turkish shadow, Sela, Tarshika. Which structure is there? Pituitary gland. On its side, there is the queen. Yes, who are the queen? Foramen Leshram. Raja jo hai Rani ko kya karta hai? Gulab ka full deta hai. So you can remember there is our R. 
O and S foramen from where the emissary vein will pass. So you can remember one beautiful way to remember the very difficult foramen at this portion. Yes, king, then queen, then R O S E. R for you can remember the rotundum foramen. O for you can remember the oval foramen. And S for you can remember spinosum. So in detail part we will discuss. But this is a short quick view. Okay, are you getting? फिर से एक बार चैंटिंग करते हैं रिवाइज विथ मी हु इज सिटिंग एट द सेंटर सर पिट्यूट्री ग्लैंड हु इज द किंग ऑन इच साइड ऑफ द किंग देर इज द फोरम इन ले सरम यस इट इज शाई इन नेचर फोरम इन ले सरम राजा रानी को क्या करता है गुलाब का फूल देता है आर फॉर रोटंडम ओ फॉर ओवेल एस फॉर स्पाइनोजम गेटिंग द पॉइंट नाउ सेम थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू लुक फ्रॉम द डाउन साइड से कैन यू ऑब्जर्व हियर यस सर वी आर लुकिंग एट द डाउन साइड यस this is our skull here is a norma basalis so this is the our largest foramen of the skull this is our yes foramen magna and pituitary gland is located above it so whatever the foramen which is on each side of the pituitary gland that is our foramen lacerum can you see this foramen lacerum is having the junction of the three color yes one is the blue color yes sir another is the green color yes sir and here is the purple color so which is the answer from the inicut 2022 yes you are getting the answer that is our foramen lacerum but you can see the other foramens also this is our oval foramen and this is the our spinosum foramen foramen rotundum is outside just like the infraorbital foramen okay so what you have to remember right now we will discuss this all the cranial cavity foramen in detail but right now the answer is foramen lacerum which is participated by the petrous part of the temporal bone isphenoid bone and occipital bone now see i n i c u t 2021 see here third part of the vertebral artery is related with which of the following so this is actually not a new question yes it is not a new question it is the old question this question had been asked already near the 2016 17 ams तो ये एम्स में आई एन आई सी में डरने की बिल्कुल जरूरत नहीं है यू हैव टू गो फॉर द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड देयर एक्सप्लेनेशन इन इच सब्जेक्ट यू कैन क्रैक फोकस बी कूल काम रिलैक्स और घबराना नहीं है आराम से ठंड दिमाग सॉल्व करना यू विल बी डेफिनेटली क्रैक द एग्जाम सो दिस इज द अगेन रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन आई विल टीच यू वर्टिब्रल आर्ट्री ये सी ईयर विद प्रॉपर थ्री डायमेंशन ओरियंटेशन यू कैन सी दिस इज अवर vertebral artery yes sir it is the branch of the subclavian artery what are the branches of subclavian artery formula is v i t c d vertebral artery is the first branch so can you see this artery is running in the neck cervical part passing through the vertebra vertebral part second part and then this is the our third part third part is going back side in the our suboccipital triangle so it is running back side and then it will enter inside the cranial cavity the two vertebral artery will unite together and they will make the basilar artery in circle of willis we will see abhi hum rapid tarike se question answer discussion kar rahe hain we will see the theory part after this discussion okay so try to guess the question this is the our third part so third part is running where sir third part is running over our First cervical vertebra posteriorly. There are the different parts of the vertebra. Anteriorly there is the body, and then there is the ver. Yes, transverse process. Posteriorly there is the spine. Okay. So you will see the junction, the junction between the body and transverse process that is the pedicle. And yes, this portion is known as our lamina. So third part is over this portion. Fine. So again, try to catch this point. That vertebral artery is coming, okay, sir, and then it is passing through the yes for a minute transosorium, but then it is coming, yes, then it is coming out, and then it will enter inside in this way. So remember, this is our second part. In our detailed classes, we had seen all the course. but this is the quick revision second part and here is our third part and when both are running inside the cranial cavity then it is the fourth part and then they will unite and they will make the basilar artery yes sir there will be the basilar 
artery so your answer what you will say that third part of the vertebral artery is related with which portion so you can see it is related with this second point that is our lamina so your answer will be the c fine so don't get confusion hope you are all are getting the point now come to the next question yes again try to guess the question in our neat pg exam one question sure from the spinal cord yes sir and then question shifted towards the lumbar puncture yes sir and now in the INICUT they are asking about the our yes ventricular puncture so you can guess the brain diseases are important so the spinal cord ending lumbar puncture process that is important so they asked just little deviation not the lumbar puncture they ask about the ventricular puncture getting the point so what they are saying six month old boy brought to the casualty with seizure okay sir clinical question okay children is there pediatrics cns case pediatrician tries to csf sampling okay same topic earlier asked in your inicut as well as neat pg lumbar puncture what are the structure punctured by the pediatrician while piercing through the anterior fontanelle yes in general anatomy part i told you entry fontanelle fine so when they will pierce definitely there is a scalp scalp layer will be pierced and after piercing the skin connective tissue aponeurosis loose area tissue pericranium you will see there is the puncture of the entry fontanelle so meninges will be there so which is the first layer of the meninges sir dura mater and after the dura mater you will get the arachnoid mater simply okay so right now there is the no our epicranium endocranium no synchondral membrane dura mater this all answer will be our yes scalp dura mater and arachnoid mater in the six month old baby simple so we will describe this question more later right now we are doing we are doing analysis of the question answer now means it is sure what question is going to ask in your next exam one artery definitely it is going to ask okay next yes foramen skull foramen definitely it is going to ask it is usual process any year you will see in anatomy cranial foramen they are asked okay now see here this is our again question from the foramen two question from the skull foramen in your INICUT 2020 surely next INICUT they will show any cranial cavity they will ask about the foramen of the cranial cavity because many important structures are passing through here just it is clear cut now see here third part of the vertebral artery again i want to tell you it is not the new question this question had been asked in the aims 2016-17 what happens try to understand you all the students are preparing for the exam okay sir you are facing for the exam for the one time two time or maximum three time okay but we the teacher we are in connection with this pattern i am looking this question pattern since the 2015 okay so this question is not new it is new for you but we all the teachers we are doing analysis this question is not new this question is already asked and even when we were doing the preparation for the pg exam 2009 2010 they were asking the question yes foramen transverse orium it is passing which structure answer was the vertebral artery one liner question it is the old question they are asking the same question but they are asking the part yes first part second part they are asking the third part they are not asking the second part means kehne ka matlab abhi bhi pattern wahi hai puchne ka tarika badal gaya hai but they are asking the same important things agree everybody so now again try to focus for the next question i nice it 2021 cadaveric image from the head neck so get ready every year you will see the 2018 19 20 21 they are giving the cut section of the cranial reason okay so what is the question 12 year old presented with fever difficulty in swallowing ent question okay he had swelling in the marked region so here is the marking agree and was advised to undergo surgery post surgery the gorge continued to soak with blood yes there was a bleeding which of the following vessels must have injured now just to try to identify what this structure is possible common sense aapko use karna hai sir this is the portion which is having elevation depression so definitely this is nose very silly point yes sir 
So this is front, that is back. Yes, it is nose area and you can see the teeth also. Yes, sir. If it is the teeth, then definitely this is our oral cavity. Agree? Yes, sir. This is oral cavity. Yes, above the oral cavity, you can see behind the nose, nasal cavity. Correct? So the partition between the oral cavity and the nasal cavity, that is a palate. Front portion is bony. So this is the hard palate. And the posterior part which is hanging downside, yes, definitely it is our soft palate. Simple. So they are putting the arrow near the soft palate. You know, near the soft palate on each side, there is the aggregation of the lymphoid tissue. That is nothing. That is our, yes, palatine tonsil. So this arrow is over the palatine tonsil. Agree? Now, tell me. There is the bleeding ENT question. When we do the tonsillar surgery at that time, which is the main structure which is supplying the tonsil? Yes, you will say artery. The main artery, there are the many arteries. Okay, the main artery is a tonsil branch of the facial artery. But remember, veins are superficial. Yes, A is correct, but the best answer is the our tonsillar vein, paratonsillar vein. This paratonsillar vein drains into the facial vein. Remember, so the C is better answer than A because veins are superficial, their injury is more common. Okay, so remember, we will do the more discussion related to it, but this is the question answer discussion, quick revision. So, right now, sufficient. What you have to remember in tonsillectomy, the bleeding is more commonly due to the our paratonsillar vein. Facial artery is also correct, but if you have to opt among these two, best answer will be the paratonsillar vein. Now, see here, COVID definitely. Abhi ke exam mein beta dekh lena, aapka question aega hi aega. No exam is there where COVID is not asked, okay? HIV is not asked, hepatitis is not asked, TB, malaria. Definitely this question will be asked, okay? Yes, integration will be there. So there is the, which of the following marks site? SARS-CoV-19 spread to the brain, okay? So they are correlating. It is very easy. Yes, COVID is coming through the nose route, mouth route, okay? That's why we are wearing the mask. So definitely. Here is the location of our cribriform plate of ethmoid. Yes, sir. Here is the olfactory bulb, olfactory tract, olfactory stria. Getting the point? B arrow is over the optic nerve and it will make the eye optic chiasma. Okay, so there is a no role of the COVID from this optic nerve, optic pathway. You can exclude, okay? Yes, it can come, but it is not too much common. Yes, you can see here, I told you the formula. What are the different structures? I told you king. Raja kaha baitta hai? Sir, king is at the our Turkish shadow. So, this is the location of the pituitary gland. On each side of the king, there is the our quince. So, these are the our foramen lesherum. Yes, sir. I am indicating with the L. Ab Raja Rani ko kya de raha tha? ka fool. So, you can remember the R O S E. So, you can see R. This is our O. And very small foramen. This is S. Okay. So, Rotundum foramen, here is oval foramen and this is our spinosum foramen from where E, E for emissary vein can be passed or not. So, aap isko yaad ra sakte hain, R O S E, yes, simple formula, king, queen, rose, the most complicated foramen in a very easy way, okay. Now, you can see here our Second largest foramen of the skull that is jugular foramen and this is the most largest foramen of the skull that is our, yes, foramen magna. Okay, more discussion we will do but it is clear cut, no confusion that when we are doing ismen, yes, there is one image you can see here. SARS virus is coming through the nasal root. It will pierce through the olfactory nerve root. Yes, it will pierce the cribriform plate of ethmoid and it will reach to the our olfactory nerve. Getting the point? So definitely answer, answer will be this A. But how they are making the confusion, where this A is given? Yes, A is not given in the A. Okay, A is given in the D. Okay, so your answer is here D. So don't get confusion. During opting the option, you have to be careful. Fine? Okay, so now. Come to the our next question. See here. INICT 2021 pattern. 
yes patient after road traffic accident presents to the emergency room with a difficulty in swallowing he is unable to do swallow and slurred speech okay sir fine let's see investigation reveal fracture in the occipital temporal region occipital bone temporal bone so again cranial nerve foramen these are involved which of the following areas should be tested in order to find nerve which is involved so here is the image just i told you there is the presence of first cranial nerve from the nose it will go inside so this is the olfactory bulb olfactory tract olfactory stria first sir the olfactory nerve is not having any role in the speech slurring of the speech not possible exclude this one can you see there is our this arrow over the third yes sir this is our area of the tongue getting the point fine yes tongue muscles they are supplied with the 12th cranial nerve it is supplying the genioglossus when you will see the tongue there is a deviation of the tongue on the ipsilateral side this is again very important topic fine so there is the no problem in the slurring because there is a genioglossus muscle involved it is responsible for the protraction it is not related with the swallowing next can you see here our this point second yes again you can observe here this is our hard palate and here is our soft palate portion getting the point agree so this is our soft palate portion soft palate is supplied by our nerve yes see here palatine reflex this question had been asked in your need pg 2019 which had been changed in little bit with a deviation in the format okay so palatine reflex when you are touching for the gag reflex okay at that time receptor is stimulated then efferent is formed by the ninth nerve then center is located at the medulla yes i will tell you in the neuroanatomy part yes sir medulla and then efferent is formed by the 10th nerve and then there is the our effector muscles they are the muscle fine so remember what you will do for the abnormal palatine reflex definitely your answer will be this area number 2 fine because it is related with the palate agar isme damage hai if there is a paralysis of this palate definitely there will be no proper swallowing okay so you will get the answer here this one two fine so these are the word description yes this area number 4 this area number 4 is you can see here the box like structure yes sir this is our vertebra just in front of the vertebra there is the word esophagus remember the upper part of the esophagus is known as pharynx and in front of the pharynx you will see the trachea and the upper part of the trachea is known as larynx simple okay what you have to remember vot is your mnemonic ye radiology mein bhi help karega yes tum mujhe vote do main tumhe barbadi dunga yes this is the common quotation by the today's politics what is your mnemonic yes whenever you are looking the cadaveric image vertebra you can see just in front of the esophagus just in front of the esophagus there is the our trachea but remember upper part of the esophagus is known as pharynx upper part of the trachea is known as larynx getting the point don't get confusion pharynx larynx mein confusion hota no confusion yes upper part of the esophagus pharynx upper part of the trachea larynx jab hum kisi ko gala daba ke maarte hain to usko saans lene mein dikkat hoti hai aap khud ka daba gala daba ke dekh sakte ho yes sir common sense anatomy mein beta bilkul ratne ki zarurat nahi hai you are carrying the cheating material within the exam hall apni khud ki body koi rok to nahi sakta na ki body tu bahar ruk atma to exam de ke aa ऐसा कभी नहीं हो सकता सो यू कैन इजिली रिमेम्बर देर इज नो कंफ्यूजन यस सर द लैरिंग्स इज ऑन द फ्रंट लैरिंग्स इज नथिंग अपर पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रैक या यस बिहाइंड टू द लैरिंग्स देर इज अ फैरिंग्स फैरिंग्स इज नथिंग इट इज द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द ईसो फिगर्स एंड देन देर इज द वर्टिब्रा हाउ यू कैन रिमेंबर डोंट फॉरगेट वी विल कोरिलेट विथ अवर रेडियोलॉजी वी विल रीड द रेडियोलॉजी विल कवर द रेडियोलॉजी ऑल्सो यस रिमेंबर दिस सिक्वेंस वी ओ टी वोट वी फॉर वर्टिब्रा ओ फॉर इजो वेगस टी फॉर ट्रैक या सो यू विल बी एबल टू सी दिस ऑल द थिंग्स वन बाय वन वी आर गोइंग टू लुक दिस डिफरेंट थिंग सो दिस वॉज अवर क्विक रिविजन फॉर द क्वेश्चन आंसर सो वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू यस वी आर फोरकास्टिंग हम गेस कर रहे हैं कौन से क्वेश्चन अभी हेडनेक एरिया से आने वाले हैं यस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड 
श्योर वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द क्रेनियल कैविटी श्योर वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट फोरम एंड लिख के ले लो आज की तारीख और फिर जिस दिन एग्जाम होगा जिस दिन पेपर आएगा हम देखेंगे इस डेट को इस टाइम को इस वीडियो को क्या क्रेनियल कैविटी से कोई क्वेश्चन आया डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली डेफिनेटली देर विल बी दवर एनी काइंड ऑफ द इमेज क्रेनियल एरिया दे विल शो एनी फोरम एंड दे विल आस्क एनी स्ट्रक्चर श्योर इन आई एन आई सी टी टू क्वेश्चन है Definitely any cadaveric section. Definitely any cadaveric section will be there. Pharynx, larynx, vertebra, sure. And definitely one artery in I N I C U T 2020-22 two question from the artery. One from the facial artery, another from the vertebral artery, and both are not the new question. Both are old question. Agree, everybody? So in I N I C U T the maximum question from the head neck and our neuro and art part. Okay. so we are going to discuss the related theory in the quick revision way till now yes today we are doing the crack inicet four days class in one day in rapid way so till now what we had seen general anatomy sure our that knowledge will be useful in the different things sure one question from the muscle fiber arrangement unipennate bipennate multipennate parallel muscle fiber so the cadaveric image will be shown and the general anatomy will be useful Damn sure one question from the joint. So T three question I told you, and right now in the head neck, cranial nerve, foramen, cadaveric image, and any artery. So we are doing the very high yielding part. Seven topics we had covered till now, directly indirectly seven topics. And again I want to tell you maximum question from the head neck and our neuro portion. Okay. So now we are going to cover the theory portion in quick way. Yes. we are covering the our head neck portion see here scalp one question had been asked ventricular puncture had been asked in your exam so remember scalp in easy way scalp wo area hai jahan par hair hai yes face wo area hai jahan face wash lagate hain neck wo area hai jahan hum bahut jaldi patanjali ka neck wash lagayenge i'm making joke patanjali har cheez banati hai remember face is different neck is different from the hair line up to the chin and in front of the ear this area is the face और इसके नीचे क्या है नेक सो हेड नेक कैसे पढ़ना है यस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इस तरीके से पढ़ो कि उन चीजों को आप किसी को सुना सको अपने लैंग्वेज में यस स्कैल्प वी विल रीड देन वी विल रीड द फेस एंड देन वी विल रीड द नेक एंड देन वी विल कट वी विल सी इनसाइड द क्रेन कैविटी एंड वी विल सी द ट्रैक या फेरिंग स्लैरिंग दिस ऑल द थिंग्स सो एग्री रोडी फाइन आई एम लुकिंग जस्ट अ फ्यू कमेंट्स यस डॉक्टर रितेश सी हियर आप प्रीवियस ईयर के क्वेश्चन करेंगे अगाध है अपार है लेकिन ट्रेंड जो है चेंज हो रहा है राइट नाउ दिस इज द वेरी क्लोज टाइम ऑफ द एग्जाम सो आई विल से ओनली गो फॉर द मैक्सिमम थ्री ईयर और इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग द टाइम जस्ट गो फॉर द टू ईयर क्वेश्चन आंसर एक्सप्लेनेशन गो विथ प्रॉपर एक्सप्लेनेशन डोंट लीव द एक्सप्लेनेशन ओके सो Also, you not only cover the anatomy, you have to make handling over the all the nineteen subject. Okay, so right time, right now, we are having the exam very close. So don't go for the five year, don't go for the previous ten year. Okay, just go for the previous three year question paper. That is sufficient. Okay, fine. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we are going to continue the scalp. Nothing you have to remember in the scalp. S C A L P. There are the five layers. You all are aware. Skin, connective tissue, alveolar. Our aponeurosis layer, then loose alveolar layer, then pericranium. Remember, this is our fourth layer. Loose areolar layer. This is known as dangerous area of the scalp. Yes, but they will not ask direct question. They will put any kind of the image. Right now, ventricular puncture had been asked, so definitely the scalp will be pierced. Then meninges will be there. Yes, you are going through the fontanel. So why the epicranium, why the endocranium? This all will come. You are going through the fontanel. No endocranium, no pericranium. Okay. Now, uh, no endocranium, no uh, your um, uh, uh, this uh, different layer. Directly scalp, and then dura mater, then arachnoid mater. So scalp was used in your AMS 2016. They ask if there is an injury in the scalp, and suppose you have to keep any meshwork graft. Okay, where you will keep? they put the option ms 2016 pattern i am telling you from the scalp okay they put the uh, they kept the option in between the skin and aponeurosis layer second option in between the connective tissue and the loose areolar layer 
नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इन बिटवीन द एपोनिरोसिस एंड पेरिक्रेनियम नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इन बिटवीन द लूज एरियोलर लेयर एंड द स्कल बोन नाउ यूज योर कॉमन सेंस सर दिस इज लूज लेयर सो डाइसेक्शन इज पॉसिबल एट दिस लेयर सो यू कैन कीप द ग्राफ्ट यू कैन कीप any measure only in this fourth layer so your answer was in that exam between aponeurosis layer and pericranium what i want to tell you they are asking the same thing which is the loose layer but they are not asking in straight way agree everybody now try to understand arterial supply of the face so in our detail class we had seen again remember there is our common carotid artery which is dividing into the internal carotid artery and external carotid artery so this is the rapid revision class just tell me what are the different branches of the external carotid artery sir four types of the branches first is our medial branch remember only one medial branch this is the first branch it is the smallest branch that is the ascending pharyngeal artery yes there are the three anterior branch i told you with the three dimension anatomy put the hand in this way superior thyroid then lingual and then facial so your answer is superior thyroid artery then lingual artery then facial artery and there are the our two posterior branches so put the hand here in this way one is behind the ear posterior auricular one is going towards the occipital so occipital artery so your answer is posterior auricular and occipital artery and there is the two terminal branches put the hand in this way maxillary artery and superficial temporal artery so you can remember easily yes one is our superficial temporal artery and next one is our maxillary artery now see here in this slide there is the our yes different family member yes apa elder sister apa so apa is here why i am telling you mcq ascending pharyngeal artery is the first branch it is the only one branch it is the medial branch it is the smallest branch of the external carotid artery three question yes thyroid blood supply is very important beta aisa koi exam ho hi nahi sakta jab thyroid breast aur hernia se question na aaye aisa koi exam ho hi nahi sakta jab tb leprosy malaria hepatitis hiv inse question aaye hi nahi और अगर इन टॉपिक को आप छोड़ करके जा रहे हो मतलब हम बेवकूफी कर रहे हैं यस दीज आर द हाई टॉपिक फुली here okay so this is our supratrochlear vein supraorbital vein meeting together making the angular vein i ke angle mein that's why angular vein then it is running in the face facial vein yes this is our shadow of the mandible in detail class we draw this all the diagram but this is the rapid revision see here this is the mandible so there is the our retromandibular vein kaan ke piche yes mandible ke piche retro mandibular vein how it is formed it is formed by the maxillary vein yes there is the union of the maxillary vein and this is a superficial temporal vein both are uniting and making the our retro mandibular vein this retro mandibular vein is dividing into the anterior division and the posterior division anterior division is meeting with the our facial vein and making the common facial vein it is opening into the internal jugular vein agree while the posterior division is uniting with the posterior auricular vein this is important posterior auricular vein plus posterior division posterior posterior do posterior aapko yaad rakhne hain posterior auricular vein plus posterior division of the retromandibular vein both are uniting and making the external jugular vein yes sir this external jugular vein is very important how it has been formed ye do posterior se bana kyun 
jugular venous pressure Harrison medicine. So remember, you will measure the JVP in the external jugular vein. You will get the A wave. A for atrial contraction in summary. Yes. And then you will get the descent. Why? Due to the atrial relaxation. And after the atrial relaxation, there is a ventricular contraction. Yes, V for ventricular contraction. And then there is a descent. Ventricular descent. So, descent, descent, how you can remember? Sir, descent are X and Y. But during this all, remember, this JVP measurement, medicine integration, it shows the right atrial pressure. So, when there is an atrial contraction, A wave, but when there is an atrial relaxation, at that time, there is a closure of the tricuspid wall. So, remember, C for closure. C for closure of the tricuspid wall. Yes, V for ventricular contraction. V for ventricular contraction, A for atrial contraction, and then descent. X is atrial relaxation, Y is ventricular relaxation. Simple. Atrial contraction, so pressure is going high. Ventricular contraction, so right atrial pressure will go high. Okay, sir. Atrial will relax, relax. So there is the word descent, X descent. Ventricle will relax, so there is the Y descent. Yes, why there is the C wave? Yes, C wave is the due to closer of the tricuspid wall or the tricuspid wall close hoga to right atria ka pressure badhega so why i am telling you why i am integrating this is the integrated pattern i am not telling direct question from here will be asked but remember yes remember this jugular venous pressure ecg they are very very important tool so you must know how the external jugular vein is formed how the internal jugular vein is formed it is the continuation of the sigmoid sinus i will tell you later agree Fine. Now, what you have to remember, this lower part of the nose and upper lip, this is known as the dangerous area of the face. Why? Because this infection reaches to the cavernous sinus and when the cavernous sinus is getting infection, there is a death because internal carotid artery and many important cranial nerves are there. We will see. Fine. So, these are the different points regarding the our venous drainage. Now, see. I already told you the lower part of the nose and upper lip, it is known as a dangerous area of the face. One new nomenclature, this is our, one more new term, you can observe maxillofacial death pyramid. Can you see? Yes, maxilla is there, face part is there. How it is created? Sir, there is our three point, maxillofacial death pyramid, what are the boundaries? You can see, bridge of the nose, each corner of the mouth, you have to meet them and this is our maxillofacial death pyramid it is nothing it is a dangerous area of the face one new terminology in our maxillofacial surgery okay now come to the next we are going to talk about the nerves of the face yes face it is important for the ENT it is important for the our ophthalmology how we are going to integrate two types of the nerve when you are touching there is a sensation yes sir so you will say sensory nerve who is the sensory nerve sir fifth cranial nerve and there is the our motor nerve Yes, which is the motor nerve? We all know the facial nerve. Fine, one by one. What are the different branches of the trisomal nerve? Sir, fifth one, fifth two, fifth three. Yes, you can say V1, V2, V3. So, one is going towards the eye, ophthalmic, then maxilla, so maxillary, then mandible, so mandibular division. Now, this is the image which we draw in our detailed classes. But right now, rapid revision. So, we are doing immediate with one beautiful, funny mnemonic. Yes. This is also the dermatome. What is the dermatome? Try to understand. A question jaru dermatome se aega directly ya indirectly. There is a one dermis, a skin part. Okay, sir. Which is supplied by the single nerve. This unit is known as a dermatome. Break the name. Remember, Shakespeare ne kaha hai naam me kya rakha hai. But remember, Mirja Galip kehte hai sare raj simply you have to break the name and think about it what is the derma tome sir derma plus tome derma means skin tome means segment so the segment of the skin which is supplied by the single nerve this unit is known as the derma tome our entire body is divided in the derma tome why because it is important because just by touching the segment of the skin you can say which part of the central nervous system is damaged so, it is just like the magic definitely in ortho, surgery, medicine, ENT, ophthalmology, anatomy. Any one question directly, indirectly will be asked. So, what I want to tell you, I am teaching you the dermatome of the face. Fine. So, you all can see there are the one pink color area, maxillary area, blue color area, mandibular area. So, what are the different branches? So, you can remember one funny mnemonic, su, su, lai. Yes, su, su karke lai bolna hai. 
किसने सुसू करके लाई बोला यू कैन रिमेम्बर जेड आई जेड जीजा जी ने सुसू करके लाई बोला यस yes. इससे क्या हुआ यू कैन सी उनको एम बी ए की डिग्री मिल गई गेटिंग द पॉइंट ये तो बहुत अच्छा टेक्निक है पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है यस नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस सू सू एल आई ई यस डू विथ मी सुप्रा ट्रॉकलियर सुप्रा ऑर्बाइटल एंड देन लैक्राइमल Yes, just above the over trochlear, supra trochlear, then just above the orbit, supra orbital, and then here is a lacrimal, supra trochlear, supra orbital, and there is a lacrimal. अब supra trochlear के ठीक नीचे, infra trochlear, getting the point? और यहाँ पर this is the ophthalmology integration question had been asked in your ophthalmology. The tip of the nose, the tip of the nose is supplied by which nerve? Answer is external nasal. Getting the point? So what is the trick? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. So if you are liking the class, just give me the thumbs up, just give me the fire, just give me the your flower, just give me the heart, my. clapping for you my thumbs up for you so hope you all are enjoying this online hybrid class okay so what is your mnemonic yes su su l i e su su li supra trochlear supra orbital here is the lacrimal then here is the infra trochlear and then external nasal your question had been asked the tip of the nose the tip of the nose is supplied by external nasal nerve now you have to remember the z i z g j z for zygomatico temporal I for infra orbital zygomatic or facial. So you can remember, one nerve is temporal bone की तरफ गई zygomatic or temporal. One nerve is going towards the below of the orbit infra orbital. One nerve is going towards the face zygomatic or facial. So you can remember these different points with this image. So next our M B A. So what is the M B A? You can see M for mental, B for buccal, A for auricular temporal. Simple M B A. Okay. Su, su, li, z, i, z, m, b, a. So these all are the nerve supply of the face. But question they will ask, yes, about this angle of the mandible. Entire face is supplied by trigeminal nerve, except or jahan exception, waha question. This is the question. Yes, this area is not supplied by the trigeminal nerve. This is the exception. It is supplied by the nerve of the auricle. Great auricular nerve. Now, ENT integration, surgery integration. Try to understand the great auricular nerve is coming from the posterior triangle of the neck. Okay, sir. It is dividing into the anterior division and posterior division. Okay, sir. Angle of mandible is supplied by the anterior division of great auricular nerve, while the pinna is supplied by posterior division of great auricular nerve. Now try to understand ENT first chapter. Pinna now supply very important. Pinna is supplied by many nerves, but most important nerve is you can see the great auricular nerve. Name is great auricular nerve. वो कहता है कि मैं great हूँ. और मैं ऑरिकल को सप्लाई करूंगा भूलने की बात ही नहीं है द मेजर नर्व सप्लाई ऑफ द पिन्ना ग्रेट ऑरिकुलर नर्व नाउ गो फॉर द धिंगरा टेक्स्ट बुक गो फॉर द ईएनटी टेक्स्ट बुक यू विल सी अदर नर्व्स दे आर आवर फेशियल नर्व वेगस नर्व लेजर ऑक्सीपिटल एंड ऑरिकुलो टेम्पोरल सो दिस इज द पिन्ना नर्व सप्लाई इन वन लाइन आई टोल्ड यू ईएनटी इंटीग्रेशन अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू फ्रॉम आवर दिस क्रैक आईएनआईसीटी 100 प्लस टॉपिक्स विल बी आस्क्ड डायरेक्टली एंड इनडायरेक्टली Yes, anatomy question ten to fifteen. They will be covered here. But if you will directly, indirectly with the cool mind, you will integrate. So this question will be asked. So if this ear pinna nerve supply is coming, I will tell you that this question of the ENT came from the INICT crack our CBI anatomy classes. Agree already? So what I want to tell you, the pinna main nerve supply is the yes. Answer is great auricular nerve. Fine. Now try to understand. Entire face, entire face is supplied by yes, sir. Entire face is supplied by the trigeminal nerve, except this great auricular nerve. Now, if there is the, if you will see the root value, answer is C two C three. But if one answer you want to opt controversial question C two. Yes, it is supplying the angle of mandible continuously in your I N I C T two thousand nineteen twenty and eighteen continuously hat trick they ask about this our. Race syndrome, yes. Shaving area. So this is the question pattern. What is the question? One patient after the parotidectomy operation, yes, there was the incision. Came to the home, okay, and he was having the sweating. He was having the redness over the shaving area. They ask the shaving. This is the surgery question, okay. E N T related question integrating with the anatomy. So this is our Frey syndrome. What happens in the Frey syndrome? There is a great auricular nerve, and parotid gland is supplied by the auricular temporal nerve. So when there is an incision, the great auricular nerve and the auricular temporal nerve both fibers are meeting together. Auricular temporal nerve is responsible for the salivation. 
from the parotid gland. So when the patient is eating the food, there is auricular temporal nerve is activated. So salivation is there. Okay, sir. But its fibers are connected with the great auricular nerve. It is also related with the sympathetic nerve. It is supplying the yes here sweat gland. It is supplying the blood vessels. So when the patient is eating the food, this nerve is getting activated. So it is causing the vasodilatation. So there is a redness. It is activating the sweat gland. So there is a sweating over this area. Don't forget this question had been asked continuously in surgery and the your ENT part. I just integrated. Don't forget this great auricular nerve because in this fresh syndrome, the auricular temporal nerve is involved. Yes, this auricular temporal nerve which is supplying the skin as well as parotid gland. That's why this syndrome is also known as auriculotemporal nerve syndrome. Yes, fresh syndrome is also known as the auriculotemporal nerve syndrome. So don't forget it. Okay, now try to understand the clinical. Yes, Salmon Bhoi. <laughs> the most ideal person of our India. Okay. Samman ke saath inka naam lena hai. Salmon Bhoi ko kya ho gaya tha? Yes. Trizemal Neuralgia. Wo suicide karne ja rahe the. Okay. So remember who was the patient of the Trizemal Neuralgia? Medicine integration. Okay. This Trizemal Neuralgia is important. So what you have to remember? The Trizemal Neuralgia. The severe painful condition. Yes, algia means pain, neur means nerve. So, severe painful nerve, yes, severe painful condition along the trisomal route. That is a trisomal neuralgia. So, integrate with the pharma. Tell me, what is the drug of the choice? Drug of choice for the trisomal neuralgia? Answer is carbamazepine. Next MCQ from the pharma and the medicine. Second drug of the choice, valproate. Also, clinically, the gabapentin is used. Now, if not treated, now you have to salmon boy ki jaan bachani hai. Aaj gaadi tera bhai chalayega. Inki jaan bachani hai. Toh aapko kya karna padega? Yes, you have to do the surgery. How you will perform the surgery? Try to understand the neurosurgery. Yes, we talked about the anatomy. We talked about the, our pharma medicine. Now we are going to talk about the neurosurgery. Can you see here? This beautiful, this beautiful image. Yes, sir. See here, the root, the different cranial nerves we are going to see. So, this is the network of the different cranial nerve. Look here, the beautiful image of this trisomal nerve ganglion. So, in this our cranial cavity, trisomal nerve ganglion is located at the apex of the pectus part of temporal bone. So, what we can do? Here, we will craniotomy. Karenge. Yes, this is our terion shadow. Look here. Yes, this is your terion shadow, this H-shaped area. Here, you have craniotomy. Kiya. And now, you are going inside 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 this our trisomal ganglion is located within the fold of the dura metrum which is known as meckel's cave and inject the 90 percent alcohol yes na rahega baas na bajegi baasuri trisomal nerve hi chala gaya to ab koi dard ki baat hi nahi hai getting the point so this is our trisomal nerve position so this is the permanent treatment but nowadays we are not doing this all the things yes remember now, integrating with the ENT. Had you seen this movie? Yes. Our Avenger, Hollywood, Bollywood, Tollywood, they all are coming. So, nowadays, the gamma radiation is used. Yes. So, you will see this beautiful movie just to make interesting the scene. Yes. Gamma radiation, we are going to talk about the gamma knife surgery. So, just see here this scene. We are going to integrate with the acoustic neuroma gamma radiation. Who was the best person for the snap? Yes, Hulk. Why? Because he was the creation. He was the creation of the gamma radiation. When Thor was our Thanos, he was the whole upper limb destroyed. Fine. So you can see. Yes, Nebula. She was making the problem. So just look at this beautiful scene. Just look at the gamma radiation. Hollywood, Bollywood, Tollywood, they all comes from the our anatomy. Gamma radiation is very dangerous. So everybody is protecting their self. Everybody is protecting their self. Gamma radiation, they are very, very dangerous. Yes, fast. Yes, they are protecting the world also. So shield, the Avenger all that is protected. Now the gamma radiation you can see.
Yes. These are the gamma rays which will destroy entire upper limb. Pura hulk ka haath jo hai wo damage ho jata hai. Okay. So now the same thing, same thing we are going to see with the acoustic neuroma surgery. Nebula is doing her job. And these are the gamma rays. So destructive. Can you see? Entire upper limb is damaged. And this process is needed. Fine. So what I want to tell you, just only one thing, integrate this point. Yes. Now, hope you will never forget the gamma knife surgery. What is happening? See here. For the trisemal neuralgia, we are performing the gamma knife surgery. See here, what is happening? With the help of the MRI machine, you are locating the brain tumor. You are locating the trisemal nerve ganglion. Now, what is happening? Yes, gamma rays are coming and they are concentrating at the particular part and totally destroy. Kya benefit hai? No need of single incision. Ek bund khun ki kahi nahi nikli. Yes, if you are doing the trisemal neuralgia operation, 90% injection, alcohol injection, you have to perform the craniotopy. You have to perform the craniotomy. Okay? But here, no single incision. So nowadays, the very, very good treatment for this hour. Yes, everything is written in our workbook. Yes, 90% alcohol in the Meckel scape. It destroyed the fifth cranial nerve. But new gamma knife surgery. It is the best surgery for the acoustic neuroma. And don't miss the acoustic neuroma in ENT. Okay? Again, if the topic is asked from the acoustic neuroma, I will tell you. We discuss about this point. Okay? So don't worry for that. And now see here, ophthalmology integration. Any patient is coming to you. Microbiology integration. Yes, painful vesicular eruption along the dermatome. Ye line agar mil gai, karo, seedha bolo, sir, herpes infection. You will see in skin, skin integration. You will see in your microbiology, microbiology integration. Yes, you will see in the medicine. You will see in microbiology. Getting the point? Jaha multiple subject ka agar integration ho to wo topic aapke INICT, NIT, PG mein ke chances bahut bada jate hain. Yes. Can you see this image? Any patient is coming to you with the painful vesicular eruption. Exactly humne jo abhi padha tha. Yes. We had seen the SU, SU, L, I, E. Exactly there is an involvement of the fifth one dermatome. So definitely it is herpes infection. Agree everybody? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Anshul. Thank you for your comment. Yes, hope you all are enjoying. So, my clapping for all of you, my thumbs up for all of you, my flowers are for all of you. Or agar aapko ye session maja aara hai aur aage bhi aise session karne hai, to please send your emoji kyunki ye online class hai aur online class mein ye jo emojis hote hai, inke bohat jada importance hai, inse humko samaj mein aata hai ki haan, aap class enjoy kar rahe hai ya nahi. So, thank you very much for your comment. So, now we are going to look for the our neck portion. So when you are coming to the neck part, so here is our skin, then superficial fascia, then deep fascia. So there are the different modification of the deep fascia. What are the different modification of the deep fascia? So remember here you will see, yes, investing layer. Then you can remember the pre pre layer. Ek layer hai jo trachea ke aage hai pre trachea layer. एक लेयर है जो वर्टिब्रा के आगे है प्री वर्टिब्रल लेयर देन यू कैन रिमेंबर द बीपी फेशिया एंड यू कैन रिमेंबर द पीबी फेशिया गेटिंग द पॉइंट सो बीपी फेशिया एंड द पीबी फेशिया सो रिमेंबर बीपी फेशिया इज आवर बको फेरिंगियल फेशिया एंड पीबी फेशिया इज आवर फेरिंगो बेसिलर फेशिया बोथ आर फेशिया व्हिच आर इन्वॉल्वड इन मेकिंग द बेड of tonsil. Yes, tonsil topic is very important. Remember 3T. T for thyroid, T for tongue, T for tonsil. You must study. Okay. Now, we are going to look. Yes, 3T. You have to study 
tongue thyroid tonsil it is very important now we are going to talk especially about the carotid sheath you all are aware this question pattern has been asked in your knee uh, your ems 2019 see here this is our modification of the deep fascia around the carotid vessels try to understand yes deep fascia around the axillary vessels axillary sheath around the carotid vessels carotid sheath around the femoral vessels femoral sheath around the rectus abdominis muscle yes rectus sheath so sheath is nothing deep fascia modification so in our head neck area you all are aware there are the various important structures yes common carotid artery that is dividing into the internal and external carotid artery internal jugular vein and here is the our vagus nerve agree sir yes now try to understand there is our deep fascia modification around it except external carotid artery so these all are the content except external carotid artery okay sir clear now see here there is the our vagus nerve which is running as content but grace anatomy 41st and 42nd edition update yes try to understand they are saying that ninth cranial nerve 10th is going down 11th is going back and 12th cranial nerve these all the cranial nerves are content at the upper part so what are the content 9 10 11 and 12 all are content this is the update don't make wrong and already this question had been asked in our aims 2019 earlier answer was the vagus nerve but now the grace anatomy even bd chorosia sir they had written what that 9 11 12 they are also the content at the upper part agree now this carotid sheath is having the two wall anterior wall posterior wall yes anterior wall is formed by our pre tracheal layer while here is the pre vertebral layer so this is the one more update actually the carotid sheath is formed by the two fascia which are enclosing the carotid vessels from the front and from the back aage mein trachea hota hai isliye pre tracheal fascia aage vertebra piche hota hai so pre vertebral fascia piche remember jab kisi ka gala daba ke marte to saans lene mein dikkat hoti common sense so trachea is in front vertebra is behind agree so these are the our different points now try to understand at our this carotid sheath there is the one loop of the nerve yes sir there is a loop of the nerve loop means ensa loop means ensa it is in the neck that's why cervicalis yes you know physiology integration loop of henle loop of henle is also known as ensa henle yes so there is a one loop of the nerve it is embedded on the anterior wall अब कॉमन सेंस लगाओ अगर इसको कट करोगे तो आपको सिर्फ ये दो डॉट दिखाई देंगे सो ओनली द टू डॉट्स आर विजिबल वेयर सर इट इज विजिबल ऑन द आवर एंटीरियर वॉल एनसा सर्वाइकलिस यस ए एन फॉर एनसा ए एन फॉर एंटीरियर सिंपल वे नो नीड टू मग अप दिस क्वेश्चन हैड बीन आस्क रिमेंबर ए एन फॉर एनसा ए एन फॉर anterior so this is the answer cervical is okay so after this all now we are going to cut this all the structure and we are going to see at the center so i already told you in the four days detail class but it is our quick revision class so please concentrate we are going to see the cadaveric image everybody hope you all are ready so just give me the thumbs up okay so it is very easy very easy i am going to tell you the trick how to identify the structures correctly remember एक हमारे शायर साहब है राहत इंदौरी साहब तो वो कहते हैं बहुत ही फेमस लाइन है आप उनके पहली लाइन को जानते हैं लेकिन उसकी दूसरी लाइन जो है बहुत खतरनाक है बहुत अच्छी लाइन है वो कहते हैं यस वो बुलाती है मगर जाने का नहीं यस यू ऑल नो लेकिन आप जानते हैं उसका दूसरा लाइन क्या है यस दूसरी लाइन है वो बुलाती है मगर जाने का नहीं ये दुनिया है इधर आने का नहीं ओके सो इन द सिमिलर वे जब कैडेवर की इमेज आपके एग्जाम में आते हैं वो किसी के ऊपर एरो देता है तो याद रखिए व्हाट इज द रूल वो दिखाता है मगर देखने का नहीं फर्स्ट लुक एट द ऑप्शन गिव द डायरेक्शन टू योर थॉट यू हैव टू थिंक अगर आप डायरेक्टली देखेंगे टेंशन में आ जाएंगे कैडेवर की इमेज कैसे सॉल्व करना है यस हाउ टू सॉल्व द कैडेवर की इमेज व्हाटएवर द क्वेश्चन इज शोन डोंट लूज योर टेंपर घबराना नहीं है फर्स्ट थिंग लुक एट द ऑप्शन Option will tell you it is the image of the upper limb, lower limb, head, neck, or whatever. Yes, according to option you can know. Now, after knowing, look, pick for any silly point. Can you see? 
सर दिस इज कॉन्वेक्स दिस इज एलिवेटेड दिस इज डिप्रेस सर इट इज एपियरिंग लाइक द नोस कॉमन सेंस सिली पॉइंट I am telling you very easy way to identify any structure. Yes, sir. And then we are going to integrate with our radiology, not only the anatomy. Yes, we will do the cadaveric section. Yes, we will cover the radiology also integration. So try to understand here. Yes, see here. Okay, sir. This is the front. This is back. Now one by one. See here. In detail class, I teach in a very slow way but it is rapid revision class you are having the exam just after few days so just see the main point outermost layer definitely it will be scalp agree just below the scalp whatever the hard thing that is our skull agree this is brain now focus here this is our c then s and then f c s f yes can you observe properly this is one white matter band running in this way girdle like sir this is corpus callosum just below it there is a one thin septa which is lucid in appearance septa means partition lucid means transparent it is very thin septa so this is our septum lucidum also known as septum pellucidum and this is very favorite question of the inicut and the neat continuously six time in inicut and your neat pg exam fornix had been asked na don't miss this fornix i will tell you so this is fornix so what is your formula csf okay sir now never 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 forget this formula c for corpus callosum s for septum pellucidum f for fornix hope you will never forget ab bahut sari cheeze practice karenge main answer nahi karunga aapko answer karna hai csf c for tell me corpus callosum s for septum septum pellucidum f for fornix now just below to it can you see there is a one rounded oval mass which appears grayish in color this is thalamus just below the thalamus jo bhi dikha usko kya keh dena sir below hai hypothalamus yes you know now physiology integration in the hypothalamus there is a synthesis of the adh hormone there is a synthesis of oxytocin and through the hypothalamo pituitary hypothalamo hypophysial axis it is stored in the posterior pituitary so definitely this is our pituitary yes all are in sequence na so what i want to tell you again do chanting with me yaad karo bahut aasan hai hamesha yahi hoga yes c for corpus callosum s for septum pellucidum f for fornix fornix ke niche thalamus thalamus ke niche hypothalamus aur uske niche pituitary gland so easy to agar main aapse cadaveric image dikhaun और पूछूं तो अब आप आंसर कर सकते हो क्या यस सर दिस इज सी दिस इज एस दिस इज एफ एम आई राइट सी फॉर कॉर्पस कैलोजम एस फॉर सेप्टम ल्यूसिडम कैन यू सी इट इज वेरी ल्यूसिड ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड देन एफ फॉर फॉरनिक्स सो कैन यू टेल मी कैन यू हेल्प मी इन आइडेंटिफाइंग दिस स्ट्रक्चर यस डेफिनेटली टी एच पी Yes, sir. T H P. So tell me, thalamus. It is oval grey matter mass. Then hypothalamus and then pituitary. Okay. There are the many details, but at the last time only these things. Now see here. Right now this is our M P M. Okay. M for midbrain. P for pons. M for medulla. So this is the our MPM. Everywhere sequence will be the same. चाहे आप mid sagittal cut करो, चाहे ऐसा cut करो, चाहे radiology में देखो, appearance change नहीं होगा. And just behind this, there is our fornitary like branching pattern structure. Fornitary like branching pattern structure that is our cerebellum. And remember, one question from the cerebellum sure. Either the physiology or the anatomy or from the your cerebellar toxic drug lithium pharmacology point eight, one point one. And then one yes one point two then one point four milligrams per liter yes cerebral toxic drug lithium very important and there is a many kind of the, uh, your uh, signs in your medicine yes N I D R A ophthalmology nystagmus I for intentional tremor R for rebound phenomena then D for dish diadochromatic A for ataxia A synergy many question and it is very important remember main brain is cerebrum. बट हु इज हैंडलिंग सेरिबेलम नाना पाटेकर कहता है पीछे नहीं मारना चाहिए क्योंकि पीछे 
छोटा दिमाग होता है एंड दिस इज द योर नीट 2016 क्वेश्चन व्हिच स्ट्रक्चर इज नोन एज अ लिटिल ब्रेन ये क्वेश्चन आया हुआ है मजाक नहीं कर रहे हैं व्हिच स्ट्रक्चर इज नोन एज अ लिटिल ब्रेन आंसर इज अ सेरिबेलम एंड ऑलवेज व्हेन आई टीच टू द फर्स्ट एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट्स और आई एम टीचिंग टू द नीट पीजी और एफएमजी स्टूडेंट आई ऑलवेज टेल वन शायरी जावेद अख्तर साहब ने कहा है जावेद अख्तर साहब ने कुछ एक बढ़िया सी लाइन की जिंदगी है तो ख्वाब है ख्वाब है तो मंजिले मंजिले तो हौसला हौसला है तो रास्ते इस तरह उसी तरीके से शेरी बेलम के यस हमारे नोट्स में भी हमने इसके ऊपर एक शायरी मारी थी और वो शायरी कुछ इस तरीके फिजियोलॉजी की शायरी है पूरा फिजियोलॉजी का सीएनएस चैप्टर एक लाइन में शेरी बेलम से बेटा एक क्वेश्चन आएगा ही आएगा इट इज डैम श्योर आप हमारे पुराने वीडियो में भी जाएंगे आप देखेंगे दो साल पहले जब कोविड का लॉकडाउन हुआ था तब भी मैंने फर्स्ट एमबीबीएस के बच्चों को भी कहा है आप लोगों को यार शेरी बेलम इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर यस रिमेंबर मसल स्पिंडल है मसल स्पिंडल है तो मोनोसाइनेप्टिक रिफ्लेक्स है मोनोसाइनेप्टिक रिफ्लेक्स है तो टोन है टोन है तो पॉस्चर है पॉस्चर है तो इक्विब्रियम है इक्विब्रियम है तो मूवमेंट है और मूवमेंट है ततो हम है सो रिमेंबर दिस शायरी ओवर द सेरिबेलम सेरिबेलम से बेटा एक क्वेश्चन आएगा ही आएगा एनी टाइम यू कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द नीट पीजी एनी टाइम यू कैन आस्क यू कैन सी द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर आईएनआईसीटी यस सो रिमेंबर दिस स्ट्रक्चर MPM and the cerebellum. Now try to understand the more thing. Okay, sir. So can you identify the structure here? Yes. This is M. Agree. This is P, and this is midbrain. Uh, sorry, midbrain, pons, and medulla. So they will ask any radiology question also. This is the brain stem. Just behind it, can you see the fernatri-like branching pattern? So definitely, this is the cerebellum. Can you see one cavity within the midbrain? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. And can you see there is our fourth ventricle? Agree? Now see ophthalmology integration. Just bit a core question now. Definitely one question from the colliculus. Either the facial colliculus or the superior colliculus or the inferior colliculus. Damn sure, colliculus is very important and it is not the new pattern. This question is asked since the 2016, 17, 18. Okay, 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16. Continuously they ask about the question about the facial colliculus. मैं नीट की बात कर रहा हूँ, INICT, EMS की बात कर रहा हूँ, 2012 की बात कर रहा हूँ. Sun 2012, they were asking the facial color 12, 13, 14, 16. Then suddenly in 2017, they asked the question about the superior colliculus. And then they asked the question about the nucleus within the superior colliculus. That is the interstitial nucleus of the kahal. K-A-J-A-L. We are kajal. But we will read kajal. Why will I tell you? Because there will be a doll's eye sign to see here. See here, this midbrain is having the posterior elevation, superior colliculus, inferior elevation, inferior colliculus. And just about it, there is a one mass of the midbrain. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Biochemistry integration in this our pineal gland, there is our, yes, remember, tryptophan. And then this tryptophan is making the 5-hydroxy tryptamine. Yes, you will see, this is nothing, this is our serotonin. It will make the N-acetyl serotonin and ultimately it will make the melatonin. Getting the point? Yes, melatonin which controls our circadian rhythm, which controls our biological clock. Yes. ऐसे लोग जो साधु तपस्वी होते हैं जो अपने सात चक्रों को जगाते हैं सो द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट चक्र इज अवर पीनियल ग्लैंड इट इज सिचुएट एट द मिड लाइन ऑफ द ब्रेन ओके विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड लॉर्ड शिव एट द एग्जैक्टली सेंटर ओके सो इन अवर मोर सेक्शन पार्ट लेटर इन द न्यूरो एनाटमी पोर्शन आई विल टीच यू द थर्ड आई ऑफ द लॉर्ड शिवा Yes, this is nothing. This is the pineal gland. You will see this structure in our brain stem. Yes, can you see? This is our elevation. This is pineal gland. Yes, here you can see the midbrain where you can see the superior colliculus, where you can see the inferior colliculus. Getting the point? Now try to understand. Lord Shiva. साधु तपस्वी लोग जो सस्पेंडेड एनिमेशन में जाते हैं यस यू विल सी द सस्पेंडेड एनिमेशन टर्म इन योर फोरेंसिक मेडिसिन तो वो इसको जागृत करते हैं सो दे आर हैविंग द प्रॉपर मोर एंड मोर सिंथेसिस ऑफ द मेलाटोनिन एंड दे आर हैविंग द कैपेसिटी टू कंट्रोल देयर विसरल एक्टिविटी देयर बायोलॉजिकल क्लॉक दे कैन कंट्रोल देयर ऑल काइंड ऑफ द सर्कार्डियन रिदम और जो अपने विसरल एक्टिविटी को कंट्रोल कर सके अपनी हर इच्छा को कंट्रोल कर सके वही तो देवों में देव महादेव है गेटिंग द पॉइंट 
सो रिमेंबर दिस ग्लैंड इज नाउ बिकमिंग रूडिमेंट्री इन अस अब हमारा सरकारियन रिदम अब भगवान शंकर से भी अच्छा चलता है दिन होता है सोते हैं रात होती है जागते हैं यस yes. फार्मा इंटीग्रेशन देर इज अवर मिलेट्रोन हार्मोन इन सिंथेसाइज इन दिस पीनियल ग्लैंड सो इट इज कंट्रोलिंग द अवर सरकार्डियन रिदम कहां कहां यूज करते हैं फार्मा 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 मिलेट्रोन इज यूज इन अवर यस 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 जेट लैग इफेक्ट जब जब हमारा सरकार्डियन रिदम बिगड़ता है हम एक कंट्री से दूसरे कंट्री में ट्रेवल करते हैं तब दूसरी चीज यस डे नाइट शिफ्ट वर्कर Yes, also you can use for the treatment of the insomnia. Getting the point? So this is our pharma integration. What I want to tell you, हमने structure देखा pineal gland. Yes, we integrated with the very good knowledge of the Lord Shiva. Yes, then we went for the our biochemistry. We went for the our melatonin synthesis pathway. Then we talked about the our melatonin pharma. Now can you see if there is a tumor? Ophthalmology. Yes, this superior colliculus is responsible for the upward gaze. अगर आपको छत को देखनी है. आंखों को ऊपर करना है तो कौन सा न्यूक्लियस कंट्रोल कर रहा है रिमेंबर सुपीरियर कॉलिकुलस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द अपवर्ड गेज ऑप्थलमोलॉजी क्वेश्चन विद इन इट देर इज दवर कजाल न्यूक्लियस कहाल न्यूक्लियस इंटरस्टिशियल न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द कहाल इज सिचुएट विद इन द सुपीरियर कॉलिकुलस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ देर इज द ट्यूमर इन दिस अवर पीनियल ग्लैंड इफ देर इज अ ट्यूमर इन द पीनियल ग्लैंड विच स्ट्रक्चर इज डैमेज सर सुपीरियर कॉलिकुलस इज डैमेज सर कहाल न्यूक्लियस इज डैमेज सो वॉट विल हैपन patient is unable to look upside patient will look downside this is known as doll's eye sign this is known as perinod syndrome okay what i want to tell you listen carefully i am telling you the lines from the our harrison p for pineal gland p for pinealoma yes tumor will cause compression of the superior colliculus that is our p for perinod syndrome Mid brain syndrome, perinod syndrome, Harrison. We are touching in this our anatomy class. Yes, patient will present with the oculocephalic reflex, doll's eye sign. Agree? So we will come. We will talk about this all later, one by one. See here. Okay, sir. We got this all the point. Now, again, come to this cadaveric image. Yes. See here. There is our spinal cord. just in front of the spinal cord yes spinal cord is within the vertebral canal so this is the vertebra yes sir this is vertebra and i already told you tum mujhe vote do main tumhe barbadi dunga by the politician okay so if this is the v so just in front of the v there is the our esophagus just in the in front of the esophagus there will be the trachea so what is our mnemonic sir our mnemonic is vot agree VOT, fine. There is the vertebra in front of the vertebra esophagus. In front of the esophagus, there is a trachea. Now try to understand. This esophagus is going upside, upside, upside. But from this point, it is getting dilated. Yes, this funnel-like dilated portion is known as pharynx. What I want to tell you, upper part of the esophagus. Yes, sir. Upper part of the esophagus is known as pharynx while this is the trachea upper part of the trachea is known as larynx so this is the our pharynx and in front of the pharynx there is a larynx try to understand yes this is the point where esophagus is converting into the pharynx this is what yes it is our cricoid cartilage and here is a pharynx so this is our crico pharyngeal junction very important count the vertebra This is our base of skull, yes sir. So there is our C one, C two, C three, C four, C five, C six. This is the question that crico pharyngeal junction is located at which vertebral level? C six. Narrowest point of the GIT? C six. ENT medicine integration. If any foreign body is coming and it is crossing this C six joint. This is its portion. Now there is the no need of care. It will pass through the stool. Only you have to observe. But if there is a button battery, radiology, there will be the double rim sign. Radiology integration. If there is a button, yes, a button battery, then you have to do immediate endoscopy. Okay. So you have to remember this all the things. Now try to understand. This is our nasal cavity. Here is our oral cavity, and this is the larynx. So 
ENT integration just behind the nasal cavity. This portion is our nasopharynx. And can you see behind the oral cavity? This is our oropharynx. And can you see this is our leaf like structure which is hanging? This is our epiglottis, means larynx portion. So you will be able to see, sir, this is our laryngopharynx. In ENT, the pharynx relation is very difficult. But if you are having the clear concept, then you can easily say, I will not say the answer. You will say, na. see here, it is very easy, sir, nasopharynx, oropharynx, and sir, this is laryngopharynx. So, can you tell me, nasopharynx entry boundary is formed by, sir, nasal cavity. Okay, sir, ENT, superior boundary, sir, this is the base of the skull. Superior boundary is formed by base of the skull. Yes, inferior boundary, oropharynx. Concept say hai, bilkul nahi ratna, ENT bohut asaan hai. See here, the posterior boundary. First part, one cervical vertebra. Second part, two cervical vertebra. Third part, three cervical vertebra. Simple. Again, first part, one cervical vertebra. Second part, two cervical vertebra. Third part, three cervical vertebra. Simple. Agree? So, what you have to remember? This oropharynx, superior boundary, nasopharynx. Yes, inferior boundary, laryngopharynx. Entry boundary, oral cavity. Posterior boundary, second part, to, so two cervical vertebra. C2, C3. Esophagoscopy. Okay? You will see the pharyngoscopy. So, these all are the boundary. Next, see here. Third part, laryngopharynx, superior boundary, oropharynx, inferior boundary, sir, esophagus, entry boundary, larynx, posterior boundary, third part, so third three cervical vertebra, C4, C5, C6, so MCQ, vertebral level, pharynx ends at C6, esophagus starts at C6. Larynx ends at C6. Trachea starts at C6. Sapka malik ek hai kon? C6. Very easy. So many, many, many vertebral level you are easily catching from here. Getting the point? So you can go for the recorded video or you can go for the detailed videos. But this is the rapid revision class. That's why I am summarizing. Now we are going to talk about our X-ray, CT, MRI. But before that, can you see? This is our tongue. One question sure from the tongue or the 12th cranial nerve. And Hollywood, Bollywood, Tollywood, they all are coming from the our anatomy. There is one song dedicated over this tongue. Yes, I am telling you. That is, Tune mari entry to dil mein baji ghanti are tongue, 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 tongue. Remember one question definitely from the tongue in the NEET PG 2021. Circumvalid papilla had been asked. Okay, so what you have to remember, this is our mandible, there is a genian tubercle, one muscle is making fan-like structure in the tongue. So when this muscle will contact, it will pull the tongue forward. So this is protraction of tongue. Remember, if the 12th cranial nerve is damaged, then this muscle is getting paralysis. Yes, it is coming from the genion tubercle to the tongue. So, this is known as genioglossus. Yes, give respect. This is our GG muscle. What you have to say? Sir, that is our GG muscle. Okay? Salman ji, Shahrukh ji, Amir ji, we give the respect. But it is most respectful. Yes, give two times respect. GG. Why? Because it is safety muscle of tongue. No excuse. If there is a damage, there will be the ipsilateral deviation of the tongue. It is a very important question. Okay. Now, just about the oral cavity, can you see the partition between the oral cavity and the nasal cavity? Sir, this is the palate. So, it is the hard palate and here is a soft palate. Okay. So, now, the same thing. Last. See here. Who says that radiology is difficult? If your anatomy is strong, radiology is very easy. Just apply the same thing. What is your formula? Again, I want to tell you. The trick is, yes, C, S, F, corpus callosum, septum parasodum, fornix, T, H, P, thalamus, hypothalamus, pituitary, M, P, 
M midbrain pons medulla and then I told you VOT vertebra esophagus trachea upper part of the esophagus sir pharynx upper part of the trachea sir larynx simple agree so let's start the radiology I am not talking about the anatomy we are talking about the radiology yes sir this is our scalp yes when the detailed classes occurs then I tell before the radiology the banana principle one memes which is running in the whatsapp so we differentiate how the x-ray the MRI CT but this is a rapid revision class so I am not telling that all the things hope you all are aware this is the MRI because ventricles they are appearing white okay so just to see here scalp and this is our skull bone and in between the skull bone extra medullary hematopoietic site is also visible now sir this is brain so can you tell me C S F yes it is very easy corpus callosum then septum parasitum then fornix now can you tell me the T H P yes thalamus hypothalamus pituitary now can you tell me M P M yes medulla sorry midbrain pons medulla I told you there is a cerebral aqueduct of sylvius which is continuing as the fourth ventricle so can you tell me what should be the name of this elevation superior colliculus inferior colliculus because they are elevation behind the midbrain and can you tell me this shadow black color shadow this is our third eye of the lord shiva yes pineal gland are you getting so complicated structure in the radiology you can easily identify if you are having the proper concept from the anatomy okay now see here this medulla is continuing as the spinal cord so if your spinal cord is visible so can you tell me what is this box like structure definitely it is vertebra I told you vertebra esophagus trachea VOT tum mujhe vote do mai tumhe barbaadi dunga politician they are saying so just in front of the vertebra whatever the narrow passage you will say sir esophagus and whatever the wide passage in front that is the trachea yes they are our esophagus they are trachea now just above the esophagus there is our yes upper part of the esophagus known as pharynx so definitely this is our nasopharynx yes you will see here the nasopharynx the oral cavity oropharynx and this is the laryngopharynx so definitely sir this portion is our pharynx in front of the pharynx there is the larynx can you see the epiglottis shadow also fine and this is our mandible so there is the word fan like structure can you see the tongue shadow yes it is our tongue can you see the hard palate and hanging here like the soft palate and definitely this is our nasal cavity agree everybody so it is very easy to learn the radiology if you are having the anatomy strong if anatomy is strong every subject will be strong okay so these are the different points so now we are going to do the lunch break and then we will continue with our cranial cavity foramen this all the structures so thank you very much yes remember few motivating lines for all of you yes remember sirf hangama khada karna sirf hangama khada karna hamara maksad nahi koshish hai ki surat badal nahi chahiye mere sine mein nahi to tere sine mein hi sahi kahi bhi ho aag lekin ye aag jalni chahiye ye aag jalni chahiye ye aag jalni chahiye to apne andar ki energy ko barkarar rakhiye aur ise poor energy ko ek direction mein kijiye definitely success aapko milegi all the best god bless you all now we are starting our live doubt discussion session thank you yes any any doubt beta any doubt please ask Yes, perfect, perfect, Osama, vertebra, trachea, pharynx, you all, you are commenting very nicely. Yes, Alpha, thank you. Thank you for your uh, emojis. Yes, thank you, thank you, Dr. Anshul. Yes, Maggie, thank you. Rahul, thank you. And any doubt, please ask. okay so fine we are going to do the lunch break and yes this is the INICT uh, our preparation this was the small demo 
for the students who can join if you want you can join the session make a group and we can continue the session but today is uh, uh, the plan for the subscribers so this was the one uh, portion okay remaining part is running at our app dr shrikant Roma classes please go for the description and you can can you can get attachment with me with all the links insta facebook twitter also the telegram dr shrikant Verma classes everything is dr shrikant Verma classes thank you for your kind participation god bless you all